This is Lindsay Mann with cloud9stampers.com and I'm sharing with you a little sneak peek from our upcoming January mini catalog and it's using a really fun garden suite. This uh, particular project layout was inspired by Susan Wong who I'm a huge fan of. Um, she used a completely different suite for it but I liked her card layout so I wanted to incorporate it into this new suite for you to see. And here's a couple of options using different designer series paper. Okay, are you ready? Let us get started. All right, step one is we're going to bring in a crumb cake base. This is just our standard five and a half by eight and a half folded in half and we're going to set that aside. Next, we're bringing in two pieces of paper. So this is one and three quarter inch by four inch crumb cake, and this is one and a half inch by four inch designer series paper. So I brought in my triple banner flag punch, and this isn't um, one of the sizes that channels it. So you're just gonna have to eyeball it that it's even on both sides. And we're going to give that a punch. But I actually wanted the flag to be not as angled as this. So what I did was I brought in my snips and I just cut the angle down like that on both sides. So just kind of mirror the amount that you're taking off on both sides of the flag. So you get that. Next, you're gonna bring in that designer series paper and you're going to eyeball it. And we wanna tear off a piece so that it's just above our flag. So I'm just gonna rip that towards me to get that unfinished edge. And then I'm going to use my stamp and seal to adhere that to the flagged image. Let's make sure we line it up. There we go. Just like that. Okay. The next step is we're going to bring in a piece of the Snowflake Splendor Designer Series paper. And you're like, snowflake paper? Yes. Okay, so this snowflake paper is one of my faves because it has this really beautiful frosty watercolor look paper. And so this is just going to adhere behind it. So you have this beautiful little strip of color peeking out from behind the flagged image. So we're just going to go ahead and line that up like that. And then we're going to bring back in our card front. So this time we're going to bring in a stamp that looks like this. So it's a bunch of little dragonflies and we need crumb cake so that we're doing a tone on tone look onto our card front. So we're just going to pick up those dragonflies and we're going to stamp three along where that flagged image is going to sit. Uh, the other thing you're gonna use your crumb cake for is use an aqua painter or a water brush and you're just going to grab some of the ink and you can create that palette by squishing it together. And then we're just going to tap and add a little bit of splatter. So just kind of in the bottom and top corners like that. It just makes it look a little bit more organic. All right, so once the splatter is dry, you can bring back in that um, tag that you've created and we're going to use dimensionals to pop that up. And I always like to put insurance on the back of my project. So I always go over top of pieces that I've added, if that makes sense. And then once you've got the backings off, you can flip it over and add it to the right hand side of the card like that. Okay. We're gonna set aside the card front and we're going to bring in a piece of Whisper White cardstock and we're going to use Coastal Cabana with one of our dragonfly images. So we're just going to go ahead, stamp that down. And then we have, um, in this stamp set, it only comes with one set of wing filler inners. So um, at first I was confused by that, but then I realized that the, it doesn't, it's not intended to line up perfectly. So I'm just going to stamp off to make it a little bit lighter. And then you're going to flip it over, stamp off and throw it on there. So you can see it's meant to kind of go outside of the lines. Then bring in your Wink of Stella. And this is a shimmer paint brush and go over top of the wings to blend that color in and make the wings look shimmery and lacy. It just adds a very beautiful touch. 
And it's such an easy way to add glitter because it's not messy in any way and it dries super quickly. And it just adds like this very, very delicate shimmer to your project. Once you've got that done, you're gonna bring in your dragonfly punch and just line it up with your image that you've created. And now we have this that we're going to add to our project. So with a dimensional, you're gonna stick that in the center of the dragonfly and you're going to add that on like so. Okay, next we're going to add the greeting. So we're gonna bring back in that, that piece of paper that we were using. And I wanted to use the thank you for your kindness, but I wanted to break up the two words. So you wanna make sure that you um, are using a Stampin' Write marker for this, not a Stampin' Blends. You need something that's water-based and you're going to color right on top of the words. And then we do something called huffing, which is basically you just put a little bit of moisture onto the stamp so that you can easily get a um, really standard look to the ink. Okay, so I'm gonna clean this off and wipe it on my pants to dry it because I'm classy like that. Then you're going to take the marker and you're going to do the scripty part of it. So I'm gonna turn it upside down just so I don't accidentally get it on the other words. And we're going to color that all in. All right, like that, make sure we got it all. We're going to huff on it again and then we're going to stamp that separately. Okay, so the next part is we're going to fussy cut that. So I'm gonna do that and then um, come back to you. Okay, so this is what they look like when you have cut them out. So we're going to bring our card base back in and I like to use mini glue dots when I'm working with really small pieces like this. It's just a lot easier than trying to use your stamp and seal and line it up and it's a lot cleaner too. So for, the, for your kindness part, we're going to stick that down here and the thank you we're going to put above our dragonfly. So again, just picking up those dots, finding a place that's big enough on your fussy cut image, and then the thank you is kind of go, going to go, look at that, we don't want that sticking out. We're going to stick that over here, like so. Okay, so the last step is we're going to bring in our linen thread. You grab a piece, it's about six inches long. And I am going to use a bow tire. This is something that a friend made for me a while ago. Um, but it's just two pegs, so you could use a fork. You're going to put your, your thread on the opposite side of the pegs. You're going to cross over the thread. The one that's on the bottom goes through the pegs at the top and the other one goes through the pegs at the bottom. You give it a tug and then you tie a knot and what you have is a perfectly tied bow. So we're going to add that onto our project using our beautiful glue dots here. So I like to just roll it off when I've got a really thin piece of ribbon like that. Stick it on the center and then we're going to adhere that on the top. And then I just use my ribbon snips to cut off the excess thread so that it's the length that I want. Now, I always like to add bling to my project, so I'm going to bring in the champagne rhinestones and I'm going to add a couple of pieces here at the bottom. And then I'm going to add one just below the thank you. So I need to say thank you to Susan Wong for the inspiration on this card layout. I just loved the layout that she used with the, um, it, it was the coffee set. I don't remember what it was called, but it's so, so cute. And I just love how this came together with our new garden suite. Thanks for watching. I can't wait to see what you make. Bye for now.